Hello, you're watching a UniPro Eugene podcast. Here is an overview of the new features that have been added to Eugene since version 1.16. Two more samples are now available in the workflow designer. The first one is in Silico PCR workflow. Set the input sequences, add primer pairs, and simulate the polymerase chain reaction process. After the workflow run, you will receive all the products and a detailed report about the process. Here you can see whether the reaction was successful or not. And here you can find details regarding each primer pair, such as temperature, GC percentage, etc. Another sample operates with sets of annotations and finds their intersection. For example, you are interested only in those restriction sites that are located in genes. Open Intersect Annotations Sample. Set files with restriction sites as set A. And genes as set B. Then run the workflow. The results file will contain the required restriction sites. With this sample, you can also find shared intervals between annotation sets and filter annotations that do not overlap with the other sets. With the help of the alignment editor, you can now align a sequence to your alignment with just one click. You can add a sequence from a file or from a project. Simply select the sequence in the project view and click the button. Aligning is performed by means of the MAFT tool if you are using the full package. Otherwise, the simple alignment algorithm is launched. Export of alignments to the SVG format has also been improved. Exporting to the vector format is now as flexible as exporting to raster formats. You can use the result file in your publications, or for any other purposes. Another improvement of the alignment editor enables you to copy a selected sub-alignment straight into one of the formats supported by Eugene. To do this, simply use the menu or the shortcut Control shift c You can set the desired format of copy on the General tab on the Options panel. For example, let's copy in the Stockholm format now. The next improvement relates to the editing of sequences. Sometimes there are annotation qualifiers whose values determine the specific region on the sequence. For example, anticodon or tag peptide. But what if you change the sequence? Let's remove a subsequence nearby. Now the stated qualifier is pointing to another region. Let's get back to the initial state and repeat the action. To avoid the corruption, Simply check the Recalculate Values of Qualifiers checkbox in the Edit dialog. All qualifiers with a region value will be changed according to the sequence modifications and will indicate the same subsequence that they were referring to before the edit. By the way, you can now resize the Options panel and make Eugene even more comfortable for you. Thank you for watching this podcast.